please, Lord. Don't let the frip strike this down. Hi, guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. Happy New Year. Happy 2024. I cannot believe we're here. Um, this is going to be the second video for New Year's. Uh, we're going to be listening to two songs, just like we did in the previous video for Genesis and Seconds Out. This is going to be Mr. Fripp's solo album, Exposure. And we're going to be listening to Disengage and Breathless, Breathless, back to back. Because um, they're pretty short songs. I was requested to do Exposure. Um, all right, I was requested to do um, Disengage. But I also felt like that is a very short track, so we're gonna be listening to two. That's it. <laughs> if you guys aren't subscribed, please help a brother out. Click the icon somewhere. I think it's down there. Hold on, I'll, I'll press it for you. Subscribe. Uh, it really helps the channel. We're almost to 8K, I think, literally. That's insane, man. Um, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. For, I appreciate y'all showing up. And uh, don't forget to leave a like. And don't forget your hat. Here we go. Robert Fripp. Disengage exposure. All right, Robert Fripp. Exposure disc one. Disengage. First edition. Three, two, one. Thank you. I believe uh, one Peter Hamill is the vocalist for this track, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see who that one is. What a dream up, like team up. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is delicious. Wow, Fripp let his hair down for this one. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, my God. I love how he sings that. Oh, my. Oh my god. This is like proto screamo, bro. <laughs> Can we listen to that again? Is that loud? No, it's not. Shit. That was fucking incredible, and it's fucking two minutes long. Breathless. There we go. Um, the vocalist for this one. It doesn't say. Maybe there's no vocalist. Ooh, that's a crimson riff. Oh. 
That's ominous, dude. I love it. Perpetronics, baby. I love this shit. Yeah, that's just an instrumental, I'm guessing. I, I'm down. This sounds like this could be on red, dude. Riff Heaven, dude. Yep. <laughs> this goddamn chair is gonna be the death of me, dude. I gotta think of a new one. Keys, man. What a nice layer. It's a nice little buzz underneath this thing. Ace, too. Okay. This sounds like Discipline Era now. Wow, it's called breathless. I don't think I've taken a breath until now. <laughs> God, he is a fucking wizard, bro. Do the drums again? Phil Collins was the drummer on Disengage. And this is Narada Walden. I didn't know Phil was on the last one, that's crazy. Ooh. Bring it back, let's go. You guys are right, this is a lost King Crimson song for sure. I don't want to sound like Larks for a second. I could mosh to this dude, I really could. <laughs> banana, banana, banana. Oh fuck. Damn, what a way to end it. Is there another one? Can I play Disengage again? Will y'all be mad? Nah, that's alright. I'm gonna listen to it again while I'm editing. That's fine. Um, yeah, that... Oh, my God. That Leave It to Fripp to, like, write one of the best insane songs of all time and make it two minutes and 40 seconds. That shit could have been ten minutes of that, and I would have been game, bro. I mean, just Peter Ham will fuck me going at it. I mean, like, that was, like, Screamo, almost. Literally, that was, like, proto-Screamo. Because I listened to that growing up. That was my shit, you know? I definitely heard a lot of just so much anger, uh, frustration, pent-up emotion. I know that that might not be how he actually felt, but it, in the moment recording that, you could hear it in his voice. Like, that screeching, like, he's almost in pain, like, while he's screaming and singing. That's what I said I think two days ago in my uh, Van de Graaff generator video, that dude is like, he's nuts. Like when he's performing at least, like I know that he's a really nice guy, but just the way that his vocals come off, the way that his lyrics come off, 
and I know that I, I've mentioned this before, and you all said that he had a normal life, but I feel like he's been through some shit, dude, because uh, there's only one or two reasons why you write lyrics like that or sing and screech like that, you know? I mean, I I swear, yeah, he's definitely been through some stuff, but that was an incredible fucking track. And then Phil Collins apparently was on the drums for that, and I didn't even know until I just read it. No wonder those drums were fucking kicking. I mean, him and Peter Hamill and Robert Fripp, what? Like, he, that's literally like a super group of a super group. That's like the dream team. That's the, the all decade team right there. And like, yeah, Fripp on guitar, Collins on the drums, Peter Hamill on the vocals, get Chris Squire for the bass. Oh my God, like, what would we name that? Squire, Fripp, Collins, Hamill? Nah, that doesn't work. We'll figure another name out, but that would have been a great group. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to listen to Disengage a few more times, definitely, because that I felt like I didn't get it all because I was kind of in a state of shock for like a minute and a half of it because I didn't know what was going on, but I liked it. It sounded good, you know what I mean? But yeah, that was insane. That was chaos personified in a song, well, at least in the vocals. Then you move on to Breathless, and that was definitely like three eras, three eras of King Crimson riffs in one song. It seemed like to me, like you had the red riff. It's like the main riff is red. There was a little bit of larks there at the end. And I definitely heard discipline in the middle section. So I thought that was really cool. Like once I hear something and like hear it a couple times, like if I hear something else that sounds very similar, my ear will pick it out immediately. Like the frame by frame riff is in Tempest by Tool. Like I immediately knew it because I, I, you know, I heard it, you know. My brain just registers musical stuff very well. And I'm very glad for that. And I can remember things pretty well. Um, yeah, that was definitely some big King Crimson vibes. Um, no wonder I didn't find a vocalist cause there wasn't one. So I wasted my time on that. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Narada was absolutely killing it on the drums there. Him and Fripp, um, were going back and forth. Like it was nobody's business. Like that was insane. Some of the riffs, like, it's just like, it's like what he doesn't play almost at the same time. You know what I mean? Like he knows he rest has restraint really well. Fripp does like in the way he, you know, uses his riffs and, how he chooses to use his sound in the, in the sound space. Um, he's very restrained, even though you would think he wouldn't be, it sounds like he's very restrained because he could immediately drop into a shred fest anytime, any day of the week. But for the most part, his riffs are very consistent and he only breaks them up when the sections change for the, I'm not saying in generalizations, but like at least in that song, like he, um, he's very methodical and detail oriented. It feels like, and, um, if you don't play it right, he's going to find someone who will. I've seen the video of him staring down Adrian and uh, Tony Levin when they were like just half a step off or something. And he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> but what a man, what a man, what an artist, um, no matter what, his music is just incredible. Like what a guitarist, man, what a legendary, iconic guitarist. And uh, I, uh, hopefully I can catch him, you know, cause I know uh, there's a, uh, a camp up there that's Adrian and Tony. And I think there's another one that he does too. Like I'd love to go to both, but uh, I'm a broke bitch. So I don't have money for that, but it's okay. You know, I'd love to meet him and shake his hand though. Be like, Hey, your music rocks, bro. That's it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it, man. I seriously, that was incredible. That first track. And then breathless was obviously amazing too, but disengage. Holy shit. You were right, Vlad. Thank you for picking that. Um, if I didn't say that already, uh, that was a request by Vlad as well. Um, and then I added the, the Breathless because it was just too short for, you know, one song. I don't want to just, I could have played Disengage, Disengage like three times. That would have been pretty cool. <laughs> so if you guys have any other tracks by Exposure by Robert Fripp you think I would like, please leave them below. I'd really appreciate it. And like I said, please don't forget to leave a like on your way out. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah. Patreon, right there. Uh, go check it out. We are almost 75, 80 members now. If we hit 100 members by February, bro, I will throw a surprise party for you guys. I don't know how, but I will. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so does this Chipotle sauce that sponsored the last video. Uh, you guys, seriously, um, are angels. You really are. Um, if you are in the $10 Super Patreon tier up, you get one for your quest a month. No albums, no rollovers. And uh, 
whatever, pick whatever. It could be a video, song, don't matter. And if you're in the $15 tier up, you get one free video chat. No, free. It's one video chat. There's no payment for it. I want a second video chat this month. I thought it's 30 bucks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, whenever you want, we can talk about 20 or 30 minutes. It could be about your cat. It could be about my charger cords. Don't matter. Whatever you want, man. I'm here for it. Um, and at all tiers, if you're in the three, five, whatever, it doesn't matter. You get access to all the Patreon exclusives, which this might turn out to be a Patreon exclusive because I could do all this and it might get blocked. I don't know. It might last on YouTube for like a day because it's going to be New Year's. So maybe his like guardian angels won't be blocking videos. You know what I mean? But we'll figure it out. Um, and if Patreon's not your gig, there's also a PayPal link in the description down there. That I just click it, and that is for tips, requests, and anything else. That is how Mr. Vlad requested this uh, using PayPal. That's the best way to support the channel, most easy, direct way. Patreon and YouTube don't get a cut out of it. Neither does the U.S. government. Fuck them. Uh, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo.